Hi, what's the difference between the TOEFL and the IELTS exams? In this video, I'll talk about the differences between these two tests so that you can make the right decision and do the best exam for you. The TOEFL or T-O-E-F-L exam is a test of English as a foreign language and the TOEFL IBT test is the internet-based test. Originally, the test was done on paper but that's gradually being phased out by the computer-based test. So more and more students now are just doing the test by computer. And in fact, nowadays, you can actually just do the test at home at your own computer. And as you're doing the test, you'll actually be proctored, you'll be monitored by a proctor via webcam. So it's really a test as in an exam center, but the great convenience is that you can just do it at home. Now, the difference with the IELTS exam, that's the International English Language Testing System, is that you can do the computer-based IELTS, which is called IELTS Indicator. However, it's not accepted by a lot of universities in Europe, including the UK. So a lot of students prefer to do the IELTS exam at a test center, including the UKVI, those are the students who want to work in the UK and they need the visa to work there. If we look at the United States, 90% of institutes in the United States prefer the TOEFL exam to the IELTS exam. So if you're planning to study in the United States, then the TOEFL exam is for you. In terms of time, the two exams are quite similar. They're both between three and four hours long and they all include the four skills. That's reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Now let's talk a little bit about the structure of TOEFL so that you know what to expect. So in TOEFL IBT for reading, you have three to four passages, 30 to 40 questions. That's about 10 questions per passage, 57 to 72 minutes. It's not a set time as in IELTS. IELTS is exactly 60 minutes. In TOEFL, it could be a little bit longer. It really depends on the test. Listening, you listen to lectures or classroom discussions, 28 to 39 questions, 41 to 57 minutes. So if we compare that to IELTS, it's a little bit longer. There's a break in the middle of TOEFL IBT for 10 minutes, and it's mandatory, you must take the break. For speaking, it's independent and integrated speaking, 17 minutes. For writing, it's also integrated. There's some reading, listening, and writing and the total is 50 minutes. If you compare that with IELTS, you can see that TOEFL is actually more integrated in the writing and speaking sections. If we look at reading, okay, three to four passages, 30 to 40 questions, reading passage one, 18 to 20 minutes, reading passage two, about the same, reading passage three, the same again. So the passages are taken from university level texts, one to two minutes per question. Preparation for TOEFL could be similar to IELTS in that you are reading academic texts that will help you a lot. And also you have a similar amount of time as in IELTS reading. However, I will say that the question types in TOEFL are completely different to IELTS. So you really need to be prepared for TOEFL questions if you're planning to do TOEFL. Let's look at those questions. So we have reference, summary, factual, negative factual, vocabulary, purpose, detail, main idea, inference, insert a sentence. TOEFL listening, very different to IELTS listening, which has four sections. In TOEFL listening, you have three to four lectures, 18 to 24 questions, two to three conversations with 10 to 15 questions, 41 to 57 minutes. Let's break that down. So you have part one, about 10 minutes. You'll hear a passage, a conversation, five questions, and then you'll hear passage two, which is a lecture with six questions. And then passage three, again, a lecture with six questions. In part two, you'll hear another conversation, five questions, followed by passage, a lecture with six questions. Now that listening actually may be extended. So you may have another conversation or another lecture. So again, different to IELTS, IELTS has four specific sections. TOEFL could actually be extended, it might be a little bit longer, or it might be a little bit shorter. What are the listening skills that you need for TOEFL listening? 
Well, you need to recognize the organization of information to understand main idea, primary points and details, understand the purpose of the speaker, recognize the attitude of the speaker, understand relationships between ideas, change in topics, understanding inferences and making connection among ideas. Types of questions. Well, multiple choice, you'll see that in IELTS too, but also an ordering of events or steps in a process, matching objects or text with a category, vocabulary, multiple choice, maybe one answer, or multiple choice, multiple answers, main idea and inference, and insert a sentence. So in TOEFL speaking, you have four sections. In that first section, it's called choice, where you have to give a preference between two behaviors or two actions. And you have 15 seconds to prepare and 45 seconds to speak. And when you speak, you're not meeting with a person. You're not speaking to anybody. You're speaking into a microphone, which is recorded, and that is sent to the examiner. In the next section, you have a reading passage and then a listening lecture. And what you need to do is you need to summarize the speaker's opinion within the context of the reading. 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak into the microphone. In the next section, you're also given a reading passage on an academic subject and another listening lecture. In this case, you have to combine and convey information from the reading passage and the listening. And the timing is the same. You have 60 seconds to speak into the mic. And in the last section, you have a listening lecture, longer, 90 to 120 seconds, explaining a term or a concept. So it's more academic. And you have to summarize the lecture and show an understanding of the relationship between the example and the topic. Response time is the same, 60 seconds. So the way the examiner assesses your level is different again to IELTS. Because remember, TOEFL exam is not created by Cambridge. It's created by the educational testing system in the United States. So it's a very different body of examiners. So they're going to examine you on your delivery, on how you deliver information when you speak, you know, your fluency, your fluidity. They'll also assess you on your use of language. So the range of vocabulary that you're using and of course your accuracy of grammar, your structure. And finally, you'll be tested on your topic development, on how you develop the topic when you're speaking. TOEFL writing. So as in IELTS, there are two tasks in TOEFL writing. However, those two tasks are completely different to what you will see in IELTS. You might remember in IELTS Academic, you have task one, a chart that you have to describe and an essay. And you also have an essay in task two of TOEFL, but task one is quite different. So task one, you will have to read a text actually, 230 to 300 words in three minutes. Then you have to listen to a lecture. And at that point, you have to write a summary of the points made in the lecture and explain how they relate to the reading passage. In task two, you have to write an essay to give your opinion on a topic. So you can imagine that something similar to the agree, disagree essay that you'll see in IELTS. In TOEFL writing, you are assessed based on the organization of your writing and of course the completeness and accuracy of the information and details that you put into your writing and of course your use of grammar and vocabulary. In terms of scoring, you're given a mark out of 120 in TOEFL. And a lot of universities in the United States want to see a TOEFL score between 80 and 110, but it really depends on the institution. So what do you think? Do you want to do the TOEFL or the IELTS exam? Let me know in the comments below and let me know how I can help you further to reach your score in IELTS or TOEFL. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.